So what does it say if you guys have been going out with each other for a couple of months? Um, you're doing a whole bunch of different things together, but dude never puts pictures of the two of you together up on Instagram. Is that a huge red flag or not? One eight five five Bert Show. Hi, Bert, Kristen, Mo, Davi, Cassie, and the entire Bert Show crew. I love, love, love your show. My friend tried to get me to listen to you guys for over a year. I finally listened to her and I'm hooked. I don't know why it took you a year. <laughs> I'm just mad that I waited so long to listen to her. LOL. All right, we forgive you. Uh, anyhow, I want some help with your ditch or date segment. I need to know if my situation with my guy is normal or if I should ditch him. Maybe it's totally normal and I just need to stop being so sensitive or maybe it's too soon to be worried about this. Ray and I have been dating exclusively for four months. One of the things I love about him is that he likes living a fun and full life. He's big on experiences. He likes to travel. He also likes to spend weekends when we aren't traveling by exploring areas close by. I also love that he enjoys finding great new restaurants. Like most people, he captures all things on his Instagram page. I also like to post pictures of all the places we go. He takes a lot more pictures than I do. Many of them are selfies, or he'll ask me to take a picture of him. He will also take a picture of me, and we often take selfies together or have someone take a photo of us. However, when we post to Instagram, I will often post a picture of the two of us together. He always posts the pictures of just himself. I'm never in the picture he posts. He also makes no mention that I was even there. So my question is this. <laughs> Does this make more of a statement about how he feels about me or how he feels about himself? Is he self-absorbed or does he just not like me? Or is this totally normal? <laughs> Would love your opinion so I can decide if I want to continue seeing him into the new year. Thank you so much, Elena. Dang. <laughs> I think it is a red flag. It's a huge right? red flag. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> she needs to calm down. I agree. Like anybody with social media is self-absorbed. <laughs> 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 it's just a stupid question and I'm annoyed by it. I'm sorry. I think like, it, especially with comedians and people that are promoting themselves, musicians, uh, and public figures, you're going to see a lot of pictures of them because that's all anybody wants to see. I post a picture of my beautiful mother, no likes. <laughs> like, <laughs> a baby, no likes. Likes. Just my dog, a couple likes. But me and the dog, a lot of likes. They mm -hmm. got to see like your face. And that's just what I, I don't. He's but doing not it for the one, gram. But not one yeah, photo. They've been on. together four months. That's no. a commitment to put them what? online and then have everybody going, where are they? Where'd they go? Who's this girl? Mo's on your side on this. I am. This this actually hits home for me. In my last relationship, this was a big issue for me. And um, well, at the time, I was using my social media for my business. That's what, like Davi said, I was, I was, it was for comedy. It wasn't really for the personal things going on in my life, whereas her Instagram was a lot different. It was all of just her personal stuff. So she would post it, and she felt like I, w I should because she was obsessed with the entire world knowing that we were together. But I felt like if we're fine in real life, mm -hmm. like if we're good here, yes. why does it matter what I'm putting on my social media? Everything you're saying makes total sense to me, but I'll be 100% transparent with you. I had this conversation with Tiffany and it was me that was feeling insecure, right? I'm always a little insecure anyway with her because I think that she's just so beautiful. I haven't just outkicked my coverage. I kicked it out of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm always a little bit insecure about it, right? And there was a time where I felt like I was putting all these pictures up and I went over to hers and I... I felt like there was a big inequity about it. So I talked to her about it. But in the middle of the conversation, I just felt like such an idiot. <laughs> when I just you felt said it so out loud. super big. Yes. <laughs> when the words came out of my mouth, man, and I was saying it, I just felt like such a tool, man, such an insecure <laughs> tool. No, I, I, yes, social media is all about it's attention seeking, it's self absorbed. Like that's why you have your own account to, to post and promote your stuff. The, the thing that is triggering me is that. You're going to these multiple places together, and he's acting like you're not even there. I'd be pissed. Like, if you're going somewhere, like you're traveling, and you're going on a trip with somebody else, and they, they purposely post pictures without <laughs> you in it, like you weren't there. Like, it's one thing if you had a social media account, and it's all your stuff, but if you actively go and do something with somebody else— and you purposely don't post the pictures <laughs> yes. you have of the two of you, that makes me wonder. I'd be upset. You're on a beach vacation. Yes. And you're the only one in the pictures, right? Yes. They just 
air shopped you right out. It's uh, like you didn't even go on the right trip. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're playing volleyball by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's photoshopped you right out. Of it. No. I get that, but I, I also do get the people who say they don't necessarily want to post new relationships because they don't want to be the person that has to now take the new relationship that's, down. Yeah, that's what so you're saying. Yeah. It, it's only been four months. Like, give it time. Yeah, and what if he's trying to feel out her vibe? Like, I've got my phone out at restaurant. My, all Everybody at the table is taking selfies with each other. It's all my friends. We're having a great time taking videos. Let's do group picture. And then I get my phone out, and I'm like, hey, hey. and they're like, no, I don't want to be on yours. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And they're like, she's got 2,000 followers. You got, like, 40,000. I don't want to be subjected to somebody going, she looks ugly, you know, like one of your listeners. And I'm like, they don't do that. And then I'm like, sometimes they do. <laughs> I can't vouch for them. So I get it, but I also, like, don't get my phone out at, at like, friendly functions anymore because I'm like, the vibe is y'all don't want to be on mine because hmm. you're worried about what the comments will say really? or something about you because there's more of a, there's a few more followers on my mm, end. Right. So I get, like, being nervous about it. So I'm like, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's just, like, I don't know if she's the type to want to be on the gram, but she is getting in the pictures, so that kind of defeats that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shay, good morning. Is this a huge red flag or not? Um, I would say no. I didn't hear all the story because I called in, but I have been with my boyfriend for over three years, and he never posts, but he doesn't post in general. Like, we've went on trips together with our families and stuff, and he just doesn't really post very often anyway. If he does post, it's like him and his dog, and that's it. But um, I'll post stuff, he'll like it, he'll comment on it. Like, I don't know, our relationship works like that. We live together, like, it's not a red flag to be. But if he's posting, like, without her, with his friends and stuff, I would say that is a problem. That's the other, that's a question, a follow-up question I would like to ask her. Like, when she posts stuff and he's in the photo, does he like it? Does he comment? Because oh, yeah. if he's not liking mm. any of the photos that he's in, then that, I think, is an even bigger red flag. That's the red flag for me. Hey, Mariah, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? Good. All right. This is a huge red flag or not? I don't really think, I don't think it's a red flag. Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Um, I don't think it's a red flag. Um, I feel like that should definitely be a conversation if she needs to have with him. Um, my last relationship, it was a red flag. We were together nine years and I was not posted on his social media. However, the relationship that I'm in now, we've been together for a year and this was actually a conversation we had and we agreed that no, we weren't going to post each other on social media. So if this is something that's important to her, I think they should talk about it because honestly, social media can get you in trouble <laughs> when it comes to relationships. It's a lot of pressure. It can get you in trouble. If too many pictures, not enough. So at what point, <laughs> because it's four months, at what point does she have a gripe? Because you're like, it's a new relationship. Give it time. So what is that time? Five months. <laughs> Four and a half. <laughs> give it another two weeks, babe. <laughs> We're very helpful. Go ahead and email us, and we'll give you great advice at thebirdshow.com. The Bird Show.